sing with Adela. It was at this spot that 13 young people rehearsed and finally recorded what would become Sing. The song sung to Queen Elizabeth II last month during her Diamond Jubilee celebrations by the Commonwealth Band featuring wives of military officers and musicians from different cultures. The song they've created receives its live premiere with an exclusive performance featuring the military wives, the slum drummers of Kenya, and the African Children's Choir. In honour of Her Majesty's Diamond Jubilee, this is Sing. And on a vantage point, in one of the slums in Nairobi, Joel Muiruri reflects on a memorable moment he says elevated the little known group from Waitaka Slam in Nairobi, which represented Kenya during the colorful occasion in the United Kingdom. To mark 60 years of the Queen's reign. memorable moment is when I was eye to eye with the Queen because I was the first in the group I was the first person to speak to the Queen and uh, the Queen was uh, with another person with another lady who was explaining this is Islam drama this is uh, will I am there so when she came to me and uh, she was told that this is Islam drama then I was told to ex explain what we do me talking to the Queen explaining Mm. We are slum drummers, we use recycled material, we, we try to improve the life of street children and uh, to improve our community. After shaking his hand, the Queen said this to the group. And the Queen said, don't stop, just continue doing what you are doing. They have never stopped. They go to various dump sites to collect what they say is the building block of the group. We look for cans, the spray shed cans, the doom anything that uh, can produce sound like for example there is the time that we can go luckily and find the sufuria first of all you know it's very dirty you wash it and then uh, the, you remove the, the the top and then uh, you, you you put the green gram inside <laughs> then you cover with the stick But every time when I make a shaker and I realize that this was something that was drawn there. So when I make a shaker, I know I'm making money out of the waste. People go to dump sites with the hope that they will find something valuable. But for this group, they go there with one goal, to find anything that can produce sound. They simply invent musical instruments from recycled material. Then make music using anything. From old sufferers. Pipes. It's called tubophone because it is made out of tubes. You cannot sing without a certain key. You know, it gives us the, the key, and you see the sound it produces because it is differently made, like, uh, like the tubes are cut in differently. So it produces different uh, sounds. So we play with that. And uh, if you look at it, it's, it's like a tubophone. I mean, it's, like a, it's, like, it's a tubophone, but it's like a piano, for sure. And uh, to us is a piano. And even plastic bags. 25 year old Michael Njenga finds solace from the sounds emanating from the dump site. He's visually impaired, but joining the group in 2005 has opened up a whole new world for him.
like there are some who come from the street. Some other members, okay, they, they have their families, but uh, not that, you know, they, each and every person has a story. I lost uh, my eyesight last year. It, it's, it has not been long. I lost it due to a condition. Uh, it's the, I, I lost it because of diabetes. I'm diabetic. I've been diabetic for 15 years. It made me stronger. It's, it's actually, actually losing my eyesight made me, it's like a, a stepping stone for me. I play the drums. I also play the shakers. And uh, I, play, I play the kalimba. The kalimba is called kalimba, it's, a, it's, it's, a, it's an African instrument, which initially it is not made, or it wasn't made by, by a sufuria. There is a drum we call chigogo, because chigogo is, uh, is the sound that it brings, that, it's, uh, that it produces. When you hit uh, like the, the, the high and the bass, chigogo, the high chi and the bass gogo. -go. That's, uh, that's how, okay, they, they are different, I mean we, we, we give them names according, sometimes according to the sounds and sometimes according to what they are made of. We, you, you can use whatever you have, anything, just make use of it. Don't just take a paper bag and throw it. That paper bag to us in, is a valuable instrument because anything around you produces sound. Anything, even when you blink. Moving around remains a big challenge for the group. Every time they have a performance, they have to hire a van. Judicus Gay, Citizen TV, your story.